Hey guys, Angela Brown here. We created our best profile picture the other day, and today we're going to edit it using PicMonkey. What I want you to do is go to your desktop and I want you to create a blank folder and call it housecleaning360.com. The reason for that is we're gonna keep all of our elements inside this one folder so that as we update your House Cleaning 360 website, that it has all of the information that you need. So if you click it open, you will see that there are five folders inside and you can go back and name these according to this so that we're all playing off the same page. But for this example for today, we're just going to be using the fan page art. As you create your business fan page, we're gonna keep all of the images inside this folder. Now, if you double click on this folder, there are three more folders inside. There's a show art folder, which is your images ready to show. Then you have the originals, and in the originals is the photo that we took the other day in the first video. And then in the compressed, there's nothing in here, but the compressed folder will hold all of the compressed images that are ready to be uploaded. So we will have these three folders inside your file folder. And today we're gonna to work on the originals one, which is that photo that we just took from our first uh, video. So if we come over to Google, there is a website called PicMonkey, and this is the web address right here, picmonkey.com. And if you're not a member of PicMonkey, you can start a free trial. This will give you seven days of PicMonkey for free, and it is a paid account, and I recommend that you actually pay and join this, because as a business owner, you're gonna be editing a lot of photos over the course of your career. Before and after pictures, pictures of you, pictures of you cleaning, all these things. And this is like Photoshop on steroids, except it's for beginners and it's super easy and super lightweight to use. So we're gonna use this today. Now I'm not gonna sign in here because I already have an account. So I'm gonna log out of this and I'm gonna log in through Google so that I can show you how to edit that photo. So here we are over at PicMonkey. And at the very top of PicMonkey, there are four options. We're gonna talk about these three other options in a later video, but for right now, we're gonna edit a photo, and the one that we're gonna edit is the one that we just talked about. So if I go back to my desktop, and I go to housecleaning360.com, that's the file folder that we just created, and I go to fan page uh, art, and I go to originals, there's the picture that we created in our first video. So I'm gonna open this up, and it's gonna open up our photo, right here on PicMonkey. All right, so here's the photo that we have from the other day. And if we look over on the other side here, we have all the different options that will allow us to edit this photo. Now, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna brighten up just a little bit. And up here in the very top with these three bars is basic edits. And that is the screen that we're on here right now. And so before we crop it, we're gonna hit the exposure button and we're gonna do auto adjust. Now it didn't do much, but it moved the highlights over too. And if I take this and I just slide the bar, it brightens it up significantly, see? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna brighten that to about 13 and I can do the brightness on both sides to make it brighter or darker. We're gonna do about five, that looks about right. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit apply. Now we're gonna go down to the colors. The colors are gonna help us change the saturation a little bit, because that looks a little bit yellow to me. So we're gonna grab this slider and you can either go down or up. If we go all the way over, wow, it looks like I got a sunburn there, huh? So we're gonna come back and we're gonna find about right there. That's about where we want that. That's about where we want that. And the temperature, we can add a little bit of life to that. There we go, that's about where I want that. So I'm gonna hit apply. And then we're gonna go in and there are some wrinkles right there by the nose. We're gonna go, go ahead and just touch those up. So if I go to this face over here on the left-hand side, I can click on that and that opens a whole bunch of features. And I want you to go in and play with all these different features because it will allow you to do a whole bunch of different things. But the one that we're gonna focus on right now is wrinkle remover. And there's a brush size. The brush size can get bigger or smaller. And that is this circle that's right here. So if I come over here, this is about 47, and I just click on it, look, the wrinkles magically disappear. See how easy that is? And we can hit these over here on this side of the face. Boom. 
Now that might look a little bit fake because there are no wrinkles whatsoever. What we can do is grab the fader and we can bring it to the right. And if we go all the way to the right, it erases everything we just did. See, the wrinkles came back. And then if we slide it back, we can find a natural happy spot that doesn't look too overdone. There you go. There are a little bit of wrinkles that you can see right there and a little bit of wrinkles over here, but it's not so dramatic as it was before. All right, so we're going to hit apply. Now, if that's the photo we want, we're good to go. There's one thing I want to do, and that is I want to brighten up the eyes just a little bit because it looks like it could use it. So again, we're going to, we're going to go down here to lighten and we're going to go to about 7% is all. And you see my brush is way too big for the eyes. So I'm going to make the brush smaller. We're going to go down to about 17%. And we're just going to come in where the white of the eye is, and we're going to brighten that up just a little bit. That will enhance the picture just a little. There you go. All right, now we're going to hit apply, and that's going to be our headshot photo. Now, you can see down at the bottom of the screen, there's a microphone. I didn't get all of my microphone out of the picture. So we're going to crop that out. We go back to the three bars, and as we click on crop, which is this top one here, this creates a box that I can just move around. We're going to move it around right there and center it with the face. And we're going to bring this down here to about right there above the microphone. And I'm going to bring the sides in just a little bit. And I'm going to create a box so it looks like a pretty square box. There you go. That's our headshot photo. And we will click apply. There's the headshot photo right there that we're going to use for our profile picture for Facebook and also for the Gravatar that we're going to be using that's going to follow us around housecleaning360.com. Now, it's fun if you have a circle instead of a square because a lot of the, like the Gravatar, is a circle. So we're going to save this as a square and then we're going to come back and create it as a circle. So I can hit save and that will save it to your archives or I can hit export and I want to hit export because I want to drag this to the file that is on my desktop. So this is the original and I want to leave the original here in case I want to ever come back and change it and do anything else with it. So I'm going to go up one and these are my three folders. And now I'm going to go to show art because this is ready for show. We've done the editing on it and I'm going to name this Angela Headshot Square and save. Okay. Now we're going to go back and we're going to create a circle and we're going to create the background of this to be invisible. So if I come over here to the picture frame, I click on the picture frame and then I go up to shape cutouts. These are all different kinds of options and you can play around with these. This will turn it into a Polaroid picture and this one will give it a frame. This one will have photo um, corners like that. So you can do all kinds of fun things with this, but this one we're going to go to shape cutout. And so the shape cutout, we're going to do round and see it automatically saves that. And then it makes the background here invisible, which is what we want. Now I can make the size of this bigger or smaller, but I like what they did there, which was at about 70%. So I'm going to leave that right there. And then I'm going to click apply. And then I'm going to go to export this again. Now here's a secret. I just made this an invisible background, which is known in picture land as a PNG. Here at the top, it says PNG. My other option is a JPEG, which is how we saved the square. So this one we are gonna save as a PNG, which leaves these corners around the picture invisible. All right, now I'm going to export to the computer and I'm going to go back to the show art. Oh, I'm in the show art file, you see right here. And I'm gonna name this Angela. And I'm going to name this one and it's a PNG file. See, we see PNG right there. So I'm going to save that. And now I'm going to go back to my desktop and I'm going to see if both my pictures are there. So down to the show art and look, there they are right there. Those are the two pictures. So that is how you edit your photos in PicMonkey. Now I want to show you one more thing before we're done, and that's how to resize the photo. So we're going to go back to PicMonkey, and 
I'm going to actually crop this a little bit because I don't need all this extra space. So I'll go back here to the three lines. I'll hit crop and I'll just bring this box right above where all of the, um, where all of that is and I'm cutting off all this extra space. So that's my new picture. Now when I export this, I have a choice. Save this as a shorter version. I'm just going to write right over the top of that. It says, do you want to replace that? Yes, I do. So now this is the one with the smaller area. And now I'm going to export it again. I'm, I'm going to click on the pixel. PX is for pixel. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to percent. We're going to save this at 50%. This is going to make it smaller because I don't need a big one, but I need a smaller one. So I'm going to save a big one and a small one. I'm going to export this. And this is Angela headshot circle. And I'm just going to put a hyphen and then a two because this is a smaller version. And so then I'm going to save that right there. And that is all you have to do to create your pictures. So I have a big one and a little one, and then I have a square one. And now you have the pictures that you need in the folder that you need them in. And you know exactly where they are so that when we go to create your gravatar, you'll know exactly what picture you're going to use. And the one that we're going to use is we're going to use this one right here, which is headshot circle two. So that will be our next video. And so this is how you edit your photo in PicMonkey.